Hello, sweet souls. This is going to be part two. Uh, we're going to clarify this spread. If you haven't watched part one, go back and watch it. Um, Rick, not, we're going to clarify it right now. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending it will. Through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So with not for you, we see someone that was karmic in nature from the past that wasn't for you, that you've released. You release them because you are the stable energy. You're embracing a new beginning and you've elevated to the Empress. So let's clarify, not for you. Woo. Because you're the privileged lady. You don't operate in this energy. You did in the past, before you healed, before you awakened, but you don't resonate with this type of energy because that's not who you are. You're the privileged lady. Whether you're a man or a woman, you're high honor. And you don't resonate with that energy anymore. With healing, we see you're mending, you're healing. You've taken the time to do the work. And this cold and detached masculine is refusing to look within. They're just sitting in their own regret, their own sorrow, instead of doing the work to heal what trauma they've experienced. And they're continuing to bleed their, their trauma on everyone else. Please clarify mending. You know, this person could have had an expectation regarding your occupation, whatever you do. They, they, they could have had an expectation that it wasn't going to work out for you. And they really relied on that failing for you. <clears throat> they're getting a message of concern. The concern, that, the message of concern that they're receiving in regards to your occupation is that you have a great fortune. Now, maybe you're getting um, an unexpected amount of money. Maybe you're getting... Um, a huge jump in your in your clients or online business or maybe this is where you're going but this person they're finding this out in some way with exchanging gifts you're open to receive you know your gifts are coming and now this past person who refuses to do the work is drowning in em emotion carrying a heavy burden still desperately holding on to you but you can't be reached because you are the hermit. You are staying to yourself. You are protecting your energy. Please clarify exchanging gifts. Yeah, I mean, this person from the past, instead of focusing on their, their own healing, they're focused on your life. They're focused on your path, your destiny, your journey, your healing, you receiving, what you're manifesting. This person needs to go within and focus on their own life. They're concerned and they're trapped. They're in a mental prison or a physical prison. This person is trapped because of your gifts. The gifts that you possess innately and the gifts that God is giving you. Wow, look, we got exchanging gifts and gifts underneath that. Your gifts, I'm telling you, that download wasn't for nothing. Change your mindset. Have the expectation that a gift, a blessing is coming every day. And have that, that excitement that you're going to be surprised when you see what God has for you. Every day, be in that energy of excitement. With Imagine, you're manifesting. You also have this Jezebel energy that's attached to this masculine that's trying to cause chaos and conflict, trying to be in competition and fight for this masculine, and you've already released this person. You don't want this person. They're not in alignment with you, not in alignment with your beliefs, not in alignment with who you are, your morals, your integrity. This is a player, and you already know the truth. So you have two energies, the same couple that's come out all week. Please clarify, imagine... Yeah, a karmic feminine energy. Let's clarify, imagine. Yeah, so this karmic feminine, whatever work she put in to, t to come against you, is, it didn't work. It has to do with a wealthy man. So let's see. 
clarify the wealthy man. She doesn't want this wealthy man to come towards you, whoever this wealthy man is to her. I feel like it is that past person of yours. The blockage is these, these two are gonna be under God's judgment. They may be going through legal issues right now. And even if it's not associated with you, it is because of you, because it's karma. Wow. All right, with Between Worlds, we can see this person stuck in the past, going through a tower, feeling so much regret, remorse, feeling not worthy, and it was all because of their own deception. They were warned multiple times by God. They were given opportunities multiple times by God to make it right. All they had to do was speak the truth and be accountable and make amends for what they'd done, but they refused to do it. They stayed in that energy. Please clarify between worlds. Yeah. Now this person has fallen from grace. They've lost their respect of the community. People don't see them the same. And there's change coming. What is the change? Your pathway is clear. And this masculine or feminine, take it how it resonates, will be in bad health. They will experience permanent endings in their life. Permanent endings. Oh, as well as an end to a karmic relationship that they're in. Wow. All right, I'm gonna do a part two and see what other, what other information we can get, advice uh, from the spiritual realm, what we need to do, what actions we need to take that sort of thing. So I'm sorry, I'm at part three. I'm going to do a part three. So we'll see what comes up. Um, part three. I know I don't do a part three, but I just want to see what advice spiritual realm has for us regarding this situation that has nothing to do with us, really doesn't. So I will see you guys on. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just get, let me get one more. I want to get immunology real quick and then we'll go on to part three get to dive deeper into what is going on holy spirit holy angels and saints spirit guides and ancestors what do we need to know what do we need to know regarding this situation oh, that one flew it says bring love into the situation new moon and aquarius always coming from a space of love. Love is the highest vibration and that is protection for you. Anything else? We've got three, okay. Hold your vision. And that says, I think that says fixed moon. I don't know, hold your vision. Hold on to what it is you wanna create in your reality. And then we got, look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. See it from a different perspective. And then we got step out of your comfort zone. That keeps coming out. You're going to be given an opportunity to do something that scares you, but it's going to cause you to grow. And it's going to be amazing. Whoops, whoops. Let's see what we got here. This one and this one. Um, it says meditate and contemplate. So yeah, hold your vision, meditate and contemplate. They're going to be giving you information. Conclusions are within reach. The bottom of the deck says, your hard work is paying off. Wow, that's awesome. All right. Okay, let's see what else we get. I'm going to pull a couple from my deck just really quick and then we'll I'll do a part three and just I'll do a longer spread in part three but let me just get a couple cards for what's going on with this situation please Holy Spirit so this is a couple that has a lot of un, um, toxic friends. They are definitely cyber stalking you. 
someone is going to lose a job because of this energy and they're asking you to continue to pray they want you to know you have unexpected income coming and you're worthy of this blessing the bottom of the deck says abundance financial stability and blessings wow for divine femme energy a new opportunity wow that's awesome okay all right, guys, we're going to go into part three and get more information. I love you. I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.